It has indeed been dawn of the first day, indeed. The quickest way to the mountains is through the north gate. No! 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 Really? No! Wait! Wait! wait no! 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 I didn't know that! I had no idea! My god! Anyways, hello there, everybody. This is Siwata Plan One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So, last time, I had some experience that I wish to forget, of course, at the um, town shooting gallery. I failed to do so, however, I will attempt later. I will attempt to complete it again later. So, what I'm doing here, first of all, is I'm. Ow! Getting hit! What I'm doing first. Stop. Just stop right now. What I'm doing here first is basically just getting any available items that I possibly can because, of course, when you use the Song of Time, um, your items run out. And, of course, I had to kill you because you are just the annoying, the annoyingest little F I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, what I'm gonna need is uh, arrows and bombs and such. I think I have the significant amount I need. So let's actually transform into a Gorn for this because we are off to Snowhead for the dungeon. Now I'm prepping myself for a really long recording because, oh boy, Snowhead Temple is gonna take a while. So anyway, we saw with the lens of truth that this big Goron is blowing the blizzard here. However, we has this. We has the Goron lullaby, so prepare to sleep forever. And he died forever. The end. Anyway, um, as you saw right there in the cutscene, ow. As you saw in the cutscene right there, um, back at the back there at the uh, peak of Snowhead is where the Great Fairy is. Because, well, this is another dungeon, and of course that means stray fairies. Yay! Ah! And that's what can happen. You can get so cocky with your speed that you can actually end up falling off here. And let me actually see if I can do this. Oh, holy crap, I can. And, whoa, whoa, hey, Link. Hey, Link, controls. Jeez. Yeah, some of the controls are actually kind of weird when you, uh, when you, um, jump off or get up a ledge or whatever. So I guess I'm doing this the, uh, non-speedy way. Because I fear for for tons of lag on my, um, thing. Anyway, going up. Going up. Ow. Going up. We have, finally, the next dungeon. Snowhead Temple. Alright, so first off, breaking these things right here. And then, we kill new enemies off-screen. These are white bows. Right here. And, of course, let's see. It's kind of big. It's gonna take more than I am sure to move this thing. Okay. So, we're gonna need, we're gonna need, um, Goron Link's help for this in order to get through the first part. Because they are, th they are the equivalent of the silver bracelets for whatever, for some reason. And this white wolfos. Come on, dude. Attack me and get punched in the ass. So, let's see. What do we have in here? We have this room. And, oh, look at that. Stray fairy. But as you can see with the lens of truth, it's actually blocked by a wall. And here's actually another thing about Gorons. Since they are apparently stone people, they can survive in lava. For some reason. Yeah, I don't know how that works either. 
It's Goron Science. Anyway, that's not what we wanted to do, actually. What we want to do is we want to equip our Great Fairy's Mask, of course, since we're going to need it for a dungeon. And do that. And we can also and we can use the uh, Great Fairy's Mask to do that, essentially. And of course, if this were a 3D a 3DS version, uh, those sparklies would be popping right out at us. Unless I have the capabilities to make an actual 3D video, I won't be surprised. <laughs> yes, I do indeed have the capabilities of making a 3D video, my friends, but... But, I'm afraid Pinnacle Studio would crash. Like it always does. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what do you want? At slippery places like this, you can curl up as a go and roll your way across. Yes, I can do that. Because I can believe in myself like that. So, line yourself up. Then put on the Goron mask. And then, roll. Ah, that was too early. You want to be as back... You want to be at the very back as... As back to the thing you can as possible. And stop right there. Okay. So, ooh. And I see another straight fairy over there, so... Let's... Do this. Booyah. I can't shoot a straight fairy, but oh wells. That's straight fairy number two. So now let's go up here. Now you may think this dungeon is starting to get pretty basic, you know, just basic dungeon fare and whatnot, but trust me when I say, hey, are you done circling around me? Thank you. When we actually get into the bulk of the dungeon, you'll see how it is pretty much unique in a way. And we get a close-up of the Great Fairy's face. Ew. We got the dungeon map, everybody. So, as you can see, this is a freaking huge dungeon. Five floors and a bunch of rooms we haven't explored yet. But over here, I should probably mention, we have ourselves a real bomb chew. It runs at you with a pack of explosives, so protect yourself. Right. When it starts charging at you like it doesn't want to do, um, it will explode, just like a bomb chew does. Yes, indeed, there are actual bomb chews in this game. Who know? Who knows? In an item sense, and the actual enemy itself. Um, I don't believe... No, we can't do that yet. We can't do that yet. We have to do that later. So anyway, going back here, we have no more straight fairies in here, so we can de-equip this, thank god. But either way, I should battle these guys. These are Freezards. Watch out for its icy breath. I hate the c, -c, 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 -c cold <laughs> Yes. She hates the cold indeed. And now, the main room. This is why the dungeon map had four, five, five floors, people. It's because we have a big, towering dungeon here. As of course explained by the outside here, outside ness of the um, thing. Anyway, now let's actually equip our bunny head so we can move faster here. And I don't think we can carry this virus. Yeah, we can actually. I need to. St I need to not underestimate the powers of Link here. I didn't think we need a normal form for that. But either way, we got a small key. Which I failed to explain hard in the first temple. Of course, small keys are as basic as you, are as basic as you can get, basically. There are keys that you find in dungeons that will unlock certain rooms. Yeah. There's your explanation. I hope you I hope you're happy with yourselves. I know I am. Now that I explained it all. So, anyway, let's put this. And... There we go. Now, that will unlock a treasure chest right there, but we can't get it until a bit later. Of course. And let's actually put this first to see if there's anything in there. Just, uh, arrows. Okay. Now, this is pretty much the point in the game where I start to get... Oh, hey, what the heck, what the heck do I do? Where the heck do I go? <laughs> what do I do? What do I go? Jeez. 
But I think what you're supposed to do next is you're supposed to head down here. Because, well, there's actually something here. There is this big old switch that you have to press as the Goron Link right there. And I'll unlock a treasure chest right there. And that will contain... These are these are red bubbles, by the way. Don't know why they're called bubbles, considering they're skulls and whatnot. That will contain the Stray Fairy, essentially. Yay. And not to worry, there is a way to... Ow. There is a way to, to get back up to wherever you're supposed to go, so... What you have to do is, you have to go in here, and we have that frozen in ice. We've seen things that are plenty frozen in ice here. Maybe we'll find out how to melt things later. As if I didn't give away the item temple yet. <laughs> anyway, I don't think we have anything to do here. Actually, I don't... F Actually, no, we can't do anything here yet. So we have to go back. Of course, and... We have to go back to the, uh, main room because- or, we have to go back to the, uh, entrance because that key will unlock something. I'm sure. I'm sure it will unlock something, ladies and gentlemen. I- I- I don't know. I don't know what it unlocks. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I don't know why, but for these temples only, I've- only, like, for, like, uh, hey, hey, aren't you gonna call- okay, there we go. Um, for, like, the, um, second and fourth temples of this game. This one and the last one. Um, I always get confused as to what you have to do and where you have to go. So, forgive me if this dungeon takes a little while. So, I know I'll have to, I know I'll have to, like, brace myself for boredom because I plan on doing this all in one sitting. And, of course, I copied my file, copied this file all the way to the second file. So if something should go wrong in the recording, then I always have a backup for measure. Either that, or I could just restart the recording, but oh well. I guess I have my methods, I suppose, but hey, who needs bombs? I got the blast mask. I'll risk blowing up my face for... for something, but... We wanna... we really wanna use bombs... here, and here's actually a thing, too. Like, when you equip masks... And you're already wearing a mask. You can't equip that mask, which is kind of odd. Really. Then again, it. Then again, it is like part of the thing. Like, you can't de-equip the mask. It. It can't just like automatically de-equip the mask for you. No, it has to be like that. The game has to be a jerk like that. Of course, the game. I don't want to call the game the jerk. The game is too good to me. <laughs> I'm just talking nonsense right now. I'm sorry. Anyway, by blasting away that thing, we unlock the way to the next thing. Oh, and by the way, this is real... This is where this room is a jerk. Because take a look at this whole thing. That's your hint at what you're supposed to do. Yeah, getting hit by icicles. That's your way. Let's see. What? It's an icicle, just like the one we saw outside. Actually, no. Outside is technically... Is technically where we entered snow the, the mountains. So technically it's not outside. Unless you want to call it outside, but anyway. Now what we have to do is we have to shoot down these icicles just like we did when we first entered the mountains. And you'll uncover our red rupees for that, so that's a thing. Anyway, invisible walls! Yay! And getting this treasure chest, we get a stray fairy. So, plenty worth your while to explore. To explore here indeed, people. Let's see, is there an ice? No, there isn't. Okay, there isn't an icicle there, so I have to use um the Goron the Goron punch for that. Actually, no, I have bombs. What the heck am I talking about? At times like these, I I don't really need I don't really necessarily need the bombs, but because I have the blast mask though. That's basically bombs in the form of infinite stuffs. Let's see, what does this uh, lead to? What does this pertain, my friends? Oh, a red rupee, okay. Might as well get that other red rupee too, because... Here's what I plan to do. At the end of the cycle, I... At the end of the... At the near end of this cycle of three days, I actually plan on... By, uh... Taking on the, um... Uh, the, uh... 
the town shooting gallery again, so I want to have as much money as I can. And hopefully I'll... And hopefully I'll get the chance to, like, do this, because... Jeez. <laughs> Just want to get through this as fast as I can, even though I have unlimited time for whatever. Alright, so this room. This room right here. This is probably going to be our last room for this video, and... Do you think you could push something this big just instead of standing on top of it? Probably gonna have fun some way to pound it down. So, oh, wait, 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 wait a moment. Wait a moment. Use the lens of truth here. Yeah, before you forget, up there. That's a stray fairy right there. One that is commonly the most jerkish stray fairy ever. And that's number seven. But... Just because we're pretty much halfway through, it doesn't necessarily mean we're done with this. We're almost done with this dungeon. No, we haven't even gotten the item temple yet. Jeez. What did you think was going to happen? I don't know, but anyway. Let's actually equip the bunny hood this time around. To make this go by very quickly. So now let's pound this in. Oh yeah, and by the way... Time limits, by the way. So now we gotta pound this down, I think. Gotta pound this down right there. And we wanna hurry, hurry, hurry up. Because that will happen. And actually, I still have time. What the heck am I thinking? I lied. <laughs> yes, I lied. This isn't the last room of the dungeon. I still have time. Because... Boosh. And... No! Ah! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! <laughs> yep. Yep. That's what can happen when I'm not too... ...balanced. BRB, guys. Of course I have to go through this freaking puzzle en entirely all over again. But anyway. Line myself up properly. Alright. Alright. There. Now, no foul ups this time. And boosh! Hooray! And by the way, get used to rolling like this. I'm gonna have to get used to it rolling like this. Oh boy. Oh man. Jeez. I can't. I can't. I can't afford to screw up now. I can't afford to screw up now that I've gotten so far here. And what are you doing? What are you doing? I didn't ask for you to charge up. Jeez, man. Alright. Now let's actually mosey along. And there we go. There we go. So, actually, no. Not this room. This, this is not where I wanted to go. This is where I wanted to go. Okay, yeah. Get ready to see ramps like this, folks, because we're gonna be seeing... Whoa, no, 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 no. That's not the way you want to go, you crazy fool. Alright. So, let's actually not curve to the left this time around. Jeez. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. I mean, I find myself, like, curling up to the left. So maybe I want to go as right as I can? I don't know, but... Yep. There we go. There we go. And let's... Actually, no, we don't need magic. We got this. Because... We have to mini boss Wizrobe. So, this mini boss, Wizrobe, it's pretty easy. You get a chance to attack right before it did, right before it gets even a chance to attack. As you can see, there are ice ice themes. <laughs> yeah. Ice themes make everything cool. And basically a very good strategy to use is to use your Goron form because it punches like a maniac, actually. The thing's attack... The Goron Link's attack attack force is actually pretty decent in this game. And, of course, you can see on the red map where the real Wizrobe is, because his second phase basically accommodates two fake ones, followed by a real one. And it goes down easily. Hooray. And now we have the treasure chest. 
What do we have in here? Link can reach into it. It is the fire arrows! Yay! So what will these do? What are these gonna do? Well, I could tell you, but let's wait until next video. Or in this case, for me, it's the same video. So, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we are going to see what the fire arrows can do as we continue through... as we continue through uh, Snowhead, Dun Snowhead Dungeon. See you guys on the next time! Thank you for watching, and goodbye!